Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to create an icon that when you hover over it, it reveals more text to like a more information sort of icon thing for your Squarespace website. So before I start, I'm going to be using Font Awesome icons in this video, so if you haven't already installed Font Awesome into your Squarespace site then I've made a video about that, I'll link that up above and down in the description as well, so you might want to check that out first. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is come to edit the page and then I'm gonna put a code block in. And then we'll come across and we're gonna remove this placeholder text, delete that. So the first thing I'm gonna put into this code block is the text before the hover. So this won't be hoverable, hoverable, is that even a word? So let's go. And then next I'm going to put some elements in that we're going to reference in the CSS to make the hover happen. So I'm going to go left angle bracket div id equals quotation mark. And I'm going to call this one hover div. So I'll just put hover hyphen div. Another quotation mark, right angle bracket, and then Squarespace puts the second one in. So just come down up, give us a bit of space. Um, next thing we're going to put in is left angle bracket span id equals quotation mark and i'm going to call this one hover element so hover hyphen element quotation mark right angle bracket and again squarespace puts the second one in so everything above this span and below this div id is going to be hoverable hoverable is that word again so if I wanted all the text to be able to reveal text on hover, I could just move that within the div. But for the case of this one, I'm just going to leave that one. And then anything between these two span tags, this is going to be the text that will be revealed when we hover over the icon. So first I'm going to get the icon, so I'm going to head over to Font Awesome. And then I've got the information, well, info circle icon. I'm just going to copy that to the clipboard. Shove Font Awesome down. Let's go back to our block. And I'm just going to paste that after this first div. And you'll see that that's given us our little icon over on the left. Um, next is to put the text in that we're going to reveal on Hover. And then we're pretty much done with that now if we just hit save and save the page. Okay, so we're going to apply some CSS now to this. Actually, what I should have said is we sh should make a note of these IDs. So hover hyphen div and hover hyphen elements. We're going to be using them in the CSS editor. So just take a note of them. And then let's go back. And then we go to design custom CSS. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is hide this text. So this was hover element. So the first thing we want to do is hide that element so it cannot be seen by anyone. And to do that, we go hashtag hover hyphen element squiggly bracket. And then just come down the line, we're just going to put display colon none. So you see that that's removed the text from there now. Now hiding text isn't good for SEO, so you don't want to put any critical text into this not displayed area that you're creating. So yeah, just a, a little heads up. Okay, so next thing we're going to make the text be displayed on hover. So to do that, we go hashtag hover hyphen div colon hover. And then I'm just going to copy this hover element. Some space, paste that in there. Squiggly brackets. Come down the line. And we're just going to put display. Colon block. So if we come across to the page now, you'll see that the text is revealed on hover. Um, it's not ideal though, this, the way it's pushing the content down. So if you keep an eye on this powered by Squarespace, when we hover, it pushes all the content down. 
any content that be in this page it does just all be pushed down so we don't want that to happen so to stop that we go to hover element again we put a semicolon come down the line and we just want to put position colon absolute and you see that that keep an eye on that square space power by square space and you see that that's stopped that from happening now next thing i want to do is just line all this up so this is on the same line and to do that come back to css and i'm just going to copy this hover div paste that in there squiggly brackets and then i'm just going to put display oops if i spell it right display colon in line so there we go it's all on the same line and it's not pushing the content down now what we can do is just style this independently now this text so we can put a background behind it we can put a board around it we can put some padding around it too so we do all this in this hashtag hover element so this is referencing everything that we see when we hover over the icon so i'm just going to leave the text revealed and then in the css editor i'm going to come down the line and we're just going to put background hyphen color colon let's just grab a color from colorzilla um just go with the light gray hashtag put the color in so you see that that's put some background color behind the text now we can move it from the corners a bit more by just putting padding i'll go something like 10px there we go that's looking a lot better now just put a semicolon and if you wanted to you could put a border around it by putting border and then you just put solid say 2px and then if you wanted to you could put a color in there as well so if we just hit save and then we come back over to our page we've got a pretty decent looking text reveal on hover okay so this is all very well on a desktop site where you've got a mouse and a cursor and you can hover over things but on a mobile obviously you can't hover there is a way of doing it with javascript which i'm not going to go into in this video because it'll be too long i'll leave some links in the description on um, resources you could do to try it but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna hide this on mobile only and to do that i'm just going to come down i'm going to put at media only screen and normal brackets max hyphen width colon i'm just going to go 660px then come outside of the brackets put squiggly brackets come down a couple of lines i'm just going to get this block id using the squarespace block collection identifier so it's this top one we just click on that let's turn that back off i'm just going to paste that in put another couple of squiggly brackets and then put display colon none and then just hit save and then when we go to the desk the mobile site we should see that it's not there so if you found this video useful and i hope you get to use this in your website as well um if you're not already please do subscribe for more squarespace tutorials and photoshop shows and whatever tutorials and hopefully i'll see you in the next video see ya